the 55th Academy of Country Music Awards new female vocalist is Tennille Towns, our friend and special <laughs> guest. It's great to see that smiling face. It is so great to see your smiling face, and it's so weird and awesome to hear you say that out loud. <laughs> hey, I wonder, tell me about the friendship you have with uh, some of the girlfriends that were nominated in your category as I, as I take a look here. Kaylee Hammock, Gabby Barrett, Ingrid Andrus, Lindsay L. Are you particularly close to any of those ladies or all of them, perhaps? I mean, truly, I, I love all of those girls so much, and I'm so proud of the music that is coming out of Nashville right now and the music that all of those girls have made everybody's put out a new record and I've been such a fan of their songs and and um it's just wonderful to get to cross paths when we are on the road you know being on some of the same shows I've been on radio shows with Gabby and such a fan and same with Ingrid I just think her music's so cool and Lindsay L and I are both from back at home in in Alberta and uh always love getting to run into her and Kaylee Hammock is one of my dear best friends I sure I sure adore that girl. So glad to get to celebrate each other's music this year. As the new female vocalist at the ACMs, there are a couple of things connected to the Grand Ole Opry that I wanted to ask you about. One is that Opry member and ACM host Keith Urban surprised you for people who don't know. What was the setup? What did they tell you was going on the reason for his call that particular morning? They told me that it was a radio interview um, for uh, on Zoom, which we've been doing a lot of during this time. And so I was like, OK, cool, I'll be ready. And, you know, I had my computer out and then the screen went blank and on popped Keith Urban's face. And I just about lost my mind. I mean, it was so exciting and also terrifying because he said, boom when the camera turned on, which kind of sounds a lot like boo in an Australian accent. And it just like <laughs> I scare easy already. So it really got my adrenaline going. My hands were shaking. And I was like, why is Keith Urban calling? This is the coolest thing. <laughs> and then the place that means so much to you, the Grand Ole Opry House over the weekend, this past weekend, most recent weekend, uh, you got to share the stage with uh, the male counterpart this year, Riley Green. And Ashley McBride, who was last year's winner, and Mark Wills. And Ashley, actually, that's where you got your award, which is a first. It was so cool. I mean, Ashley is one of my very dear friends. And I'll, I just look up to her so much. And I'm honored to follow in those footsteps. And and getting to share that moment on the sacred Grand Ole Opry stage, you know, standing in that circle is just one of those moments that I'll just remember for the rest of my life. And I'm so glad that happened this weekend and <laughs> had a blast getting to, to be there. Ashley came into the dressing room um, backstage. I was in the the little Jimmy Dickens room and, and she walks over and starts singing a chorus of one of my songs. I kept the roses and, and we were laughing in there. And it was just really cool to share that moment together. And what was it like to be a part of the ACM lifting lives, Willie Nelson on the road again, duet. And uh, then that you also so cool. got to be a part of a, an, another award winning, and I should have mentioned this at the top, but uh, a musical event award win for the Academy of Country Music just announced a little bit before you and I started visiting here with Miranda Lambert and all your girlfriends uh, in that category for uh, Fool Around <laughs> and Fell in Love. I'll just let you pick it up and take it where you want it to go there. I can't even believe it. I mean, I literally found that out as we were driving out here to get to come and hang out with everybody. And um, I'm so excited. I mean, it just, it really is a dream. It's, it's, it was so surreal being in the studio, hearing all their voices come together on that song. And everybody's got such a different style and voice and something to say in their music. And I'm such a fan of everybody and so grateful to Miranda for including me to be a part of the song and for bringing us on the road. You know, that was some mm -hmm. of my best memories getting to tour with her and all those girls. And we got to sing that song at the end of every show. And it was just such, such a dream to walk out on that stage together and, and um, kind of celebrate that moment. So I, I'm, I'm truly freaking out. So honored to, to be a part of that song. And what about the male, the, both categories, female and male artists who got to participate with Willie Nelson on that ACM yes, Lifting that Lives on the so Road again? Yes, that was so cool. That was so cool. It's like we literally all recorded that, I think, in our homes and did the video like in our living rooms during this time. And, um, you know, it was wonderful to get to know that we were going to get to do that with friends. But then even more crazy when it was like, oh, yeah, and Willie Nelson's going to sing on it. And I'm like, are you kidding me? I FaceTimed my grandparents, and they were like, 
my papa was just crying. He's like, Willie Nelson, that's the coolest thing. So it was so fun to celebrate that. <laughs> so do you have a uh, sign that's already gone up in Grand Prairie, Alberta, Canada that says home of the <laughs> of the 2020, the 2020 ACM New Female Vocalist of the Year to Neil Town? <laughs> Not that I know of, but I know they are so excited back at home and they can't wait to watch the show on Wednesday. And uh, it feels like we're all celebrating this together. So I'm super grateful for that. You were born in 1994. Yes. Who won that year's Female Vocalist Ooh. of the Year Award? Ooh, she also won question. Entertainer of the Year. The year was 1994. The year Tennille Towns. The year came was 1994. Wow. Can you give me one more hint? Um, it wasn't Shania that she year. She's one was of the it? few. No. Well, I was going to say, she's one of the few that could get away with using her first name only and has hosted the ACMs in the past. And has hosted the ACMs in the past. Her last huh. name is McIntyre, but you can just call her. It was not Reba. It that was won that Reba. Year? In 1994? In 1994, Female Vocalist of the Year, the year you were. Wow, born. no way. <laughs> That's so cool. And she won Entertainer that year. She, she sure did. Daniel, thank you Had for your time. Had the same time. year. Wow. Great to That's see you so always. Cool. It's I always wish you good were to in see person. You too, Bill. I know. I'm sending you a hug. I can't wait till we're in person again. All You're right. so awesome. <laughs> see ya. Bye, Bill. Congratulations. <laughs> thank you.